know by the picture, you see, right there. Guess what? I have another problem. The truck has uh, got a cooling problem now, and I will show you what it is because I've got to move these jugs out of the way so this driver next to me can leave. But we uh, had a cooling problem yesterday with the truck. Uh, I went through two gallons of antifreeze in a um, gallon of water yesterday. Uh, right now, the coolant level is full. You can see that right there, pretty full. Uh, I had this all the way up to the very top, spilling over water yeah, last night. We did idle the truck last night, but uh, I'm gonna show you what's wrong with the truck here. Better flip the camera. All right, this here's what's wrong. If you can see, you see all the fluid, right? The, the residue of the antifreeze right there. That black thing right there that I got the light on right there. That's my motor mount for back here. So you go up here where these blue lines are with this, see the blue lines are right there going in. And if you look on the bottom side of it, right there where my finger is, you guys can see, let me zoom in. Uh, See the residue right there on the bottom of that line, that, that housing, where it's dripping right there? It's like a gasket leak. Um, the other, back in November, that black piece right there, that coupler, broke off. Those are on recall right now. So, you can see I got residue right there on the bottom side of this gasket uh, housing. And you see all the residue that's down below that that goes down inside the motor right there and it collects gets on the motor mount right there and then goes back to the muffler housing back there uh, you can also see it's collecting right there on the, the frame rail right there and then this idling for a little bit overnight, it, it right there is pulling a, a fluid right there. So that's where my leak is, is in that area. Um, Millis has told me to get a couple gallons of antifreeze, a couple gallons of water. This thing will start going off beeping. Um, and when it starts to beep, it'll say the reservoir is low. When the reservoir gets low, the sensor right here will uh, indicate that the, the reservoir is low and I have to pull over and put more fluid in it. Uh, so yesterday I went through two gallons of my two gallons of antifreeze and a gallon of water in a matter of 244 miles. So I'm going to put some water in this now and to fill it all the way up and then we're going to get down the road a little until the the dinger goes off saying that the tank is low and then put some more type of fluid in it uh, i'll probably have to stop at a truck stop and keep my jugs so i can take and fill them back up but i gotta go like 500 miles today with this to cherokee and then get up back over to uh probably cartersville georgia I won't be in Cartersville till tomorrow, but uh, that's what the problem is. So if you think about wanting to be a truck driver, you want to think about doing these jobs, you know, you're at the mercy of this truck. The truck's going to do what the truck's wanting to do when it wants to do it. So, you know, unfortunately, we're, uh, we're all in the, under the mercy of what the truck wants to do. 
and what it wants to do. And with me having transmission issues and DEF tank issues the last two days, well today is is Wednesday or Thursday. Today's Thursday, I think, right? Today Thursday? Hey, today Thursday? Today Thursday, yeah. Yeah, so Thursday. In a matter of five days, I've been broke down three times. Three times, people. Major, major issues. So if you think about being an owner-operator, you know, you own this truck, it's a big expense. Good thing this truck's under warranty still. It's only got 362,000 miles on it. But things are breaking. And it, it's part of the life of the truck. So... If the truck's falling apart, I keep it well maintained. But on the other hand, things break when things break. So I'm just putting just regular water in this right now. And you don't know when it's gonna happen or why it's gonna happen. But it's just a truck. And you just gotta deal with it part of the company but the bad thing is in somebody that hasn't been driving just got into the career stuff like this here will bankrupt you uh, definitely if you own the truck you'll grenade your company real quick um, but it is what it is till next time we'll let you know what's going on like share subscribe comment below and uh, thanks for following our journeys out here on the highway. And uh, we appreciate it. Thanks for all the support. Thanks, guys.